Earlier, I had mentioned that there are many different ways to read and to interpret the Bible. Today's reflection will offer us a contrast to the way that is dominant. As we mentioned, the dominant voice in biblical interpretation has been and is white heterosexual men. And the dominant method of interpretation is historical critical approach. And the first two questions that the dominant um, translators or interpreters commonly ask are the who, what, where, why, and when. In many ways, the historical critical approach is a literal approach because they're trying to place it historically. Where did this story take place? When was it written? Those are some of the first dominant questions. Who's the story about? Is this a story about Ruth or is it a story about Naomi? And another question has to do with the key concept A question which the dominant voice loves to answer more than ask. This is a story about redemption, is the dominant answer. Redemption is the key concept. The answer is offered with certainty and certitude. Those with the voices which are not dominant <laughs> respond, maybe, maybe not. There are other lenses to view and to hear the Bible stories through. And as I mentioned today, we are exploring an alternative. An alternative way of understanding and digging into the story which is offered to us by the Reverend Dr. Wilda Gaffney, who reads and interprets the Bible through the womanist theology, which focuses upon relationships and sexual undertones. So Gaffney points out in her commentary that the story of Ruth begins in trauma. Ruth and Oprah, Orpah, Ruth and Orpah are traumatized. They have been abducted from their home in Moab and forced into marriage by an Israelite family who's also traumatized because they are struggling to survive a famine. What do you think about that? What do you think about what Gaffney sees and recognizes the story begins with the traumatized. 